at the world number ones who will be bringing you their match on fourth on Shokot One today. Fukushima and Hirota lie uh, ominously up above. They received a walkover against Eppler and her twig, but our attention turned to this English-Danish encounter just down below to take on the world number ones. Should they win in their uh, clash against two Danes, Boyu and Paulsen? So that's how the draw lies. Pekin seen and through already. Kurtzi Walkover against the Grezia Poli and Afiani Raheyu. That's complex, we won't go there. Well, the Indonesian team have had to withdraw because of a COVID protocol, which is really sad, but it's the law, it's the way it is. Anyway, head to head, Birch and Smith, first meeting against Nielsen and Stefensen. So we don't know what we're gonna get. We do know that Isabella Nielsen and uh, Stefansson, her uh, partner, are ranked 242 in the world. They've only contested a couple of tournaments together, that's why. So, of course, Birch and uh, Smith playing off their world ranking career high of 15th in the world. We were treated to their win yesterday over Bart and uh, Gutam of India. Right, I have red or black. It's black. Who receives? Who receives? Who receives? You serve? That side? Is that a good match? So, Marie Louise Stephenson of Denmark electing to receive. She's the big tall blonde. And the warm-up begins with a chuckle as we take a look at Chloe Birch from Preston. Hales from lives in Milton Keynes. That career high ranking, just 25 years of age, is Chloe. Lovely, warm, bubbly personality. Plays a lot of singles in the past, but gradually veering more and more towards more doubles. It's something she does really, really well, always moving well on court. And Lauren Smith, of course, who's uh, Top 10 in mixed doubles as well, alongside Marcus Ellis from Carlisle originally. Four years older than her partner. And, well, she has been really, really outstanding, hasn't she, in the, match that, the matches that we've brung you. She's gaining in confidence throughout is Lauren. And their win yesterday against the Ashwini Bhatt and Shikha Gautam of India. Two young Indians went down to the sword of the English 14 and 11, just over half an hour required on that one. That was on show court one yesterday. Very enjoyable watch. Mary Louise Stephenson, 24 years of age. And it's a lowly ranking, as I said, from, from the Danes because they've only contested uh, just a couple of tournaments together. She has been up to 70 in the world with Anne Catherine Hansen, as you can see. So she's a player of experience. And her partner, just a year older from Copenhagen, the Danish capital, 25 years of age, 1 meter 65. Not quite as tall as her partner, but uh, also a top 70 player with uh, Amanda Madsen. Well, they played the Austrian Open Great and uh, won around there. That was in 2020, and uh, well, quarterfinals of the Leaning Denmark Challenger series event. They made quarterfinals there as well back in 2019. And they had a walkover against the German pairing of Jäger and Kuspert. And that's how they got here. So, uh, yet to gain a win. There's Bert van Horenbeek from Belgium. Lovely warm man. Shared a bus ride from the airport. To, in Bangkok with him to the venue, full of stories, never a dull moment. And Seamus Halpin of Ireland as the service judge for this one. So just about ready to get this women's doubles uh, second round encounter underway out here on day two. A little bit of shadow badminton for Lauren. Chloe's always busy on the court, always.
hopping and skipping around. They've got good energy, the English team. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Chloe Birch and Lauren Smith, England. On my left, Isabella Nielsen and Mary Louise Stephenson, Denmark. Lauren Smith, serve to Mary Louise Stephenson. Lavo, play. That's gone. Out muscled that one so from the tall day. With Chloe and Lauren, well, they formed their partnership back in 2016 and then after a little bit of a break in 2017, they joined forces once again late in 2018 at the China Open. And then they won their very next tournament at the Czech Open in that year, 2018. Semi-finals at the Saar Lorlux as well. silver medalist at the uh, European Games and they've gone from strength to strength thereafter really. Winners of the Orlean Masters and they contested five finals between 2019 and 20. Won a few titles. It's all been up really. They had a really successful Asian leg in January. A couple of quarterfinals including the World Tour Finals. Brilliant. Nicely done. So zero one. From Stephenson. Two more. Good work at the net there. Very proactive. So zero one. Three two. Two won the Orient Masters Three, in uh, 2019. Runners up at the Denmark Challenge on the Azerbaijan International as well. Final of the European Games. We mentioned that. What another long, grueling rally that time. The defences of the Danes was uh, were immaculate there, and that uh, could weigh heavy on the English minds. Really good from Stephenson. Always a strange dynamic as well when the Danes have sort of gained a walk over yesterday against the Germans, Jaeger and Kusper, we mentioned that. Because they feel they're finding their way in. This is the first match for them and it'll be tough to settle. They've done well though. They've played the opening few points really rather well. well 
that's a keen return of serve from Isabella Nielsen. 25 year old pounced all over that. Okay, so we've got a challenge. First of the match, a four all on the scoreboard. Winning well here, despite their lack of team experience together. Just the two tournaments contested. But they've been top 80 players with different partners in the past. So they know what they're doing out here on a doubles court. And this, a tight affair early stages of this opener, despite the huge disparity in ranking, which isn't really a fair representation of these two. 242 in the world is not really where they're at. But they just need to put some tournament exposure together. there between Chloe and Lauren and that was frustrating for them they were so up together throughout the rally good communication good decisiveness but in the end hesitancy cost them so three-point cushion then for Nielsen and Stephenson Sedan finding the hole on the court there, the English in defence. It was that lovely cross block from Chloe Birch that did the damage. Well done. Nice fist pump afterwards as well. showing such a industry and endeavor with the legs the professionalism of chloe birch there and terrific judgment nathan robertson of course a former winner in the mixed doubles event with uh, gay lens back in 2005 here last winners of the mixed doubles i should say Thank you. 
Oh, it's just gone long, another long rally. Both teams enjoying themselves. Danish coach barking out some more orders. But for uh, the English Joe, well, they lost together in the second round here last year, so this would all be gravy, as we say, if they can add to their points tally and come through this one. These two, though, twinning really, really nicely. And you consider as well that uh, this is really their, effectively, their opening match having received that walkover. Hey! Nicely done. So, so Lauren very alert to the flick serve. That was something, nothing really, wasn't it? That serve, not Stefansson's best. Well, they've now won six out of the last seven. They have Birch and Smith, and they head to the turn with a two-point lead, 11-9 in the opening game. Well, the English with the momentum as we resume here in game one after the mid-game interval. Very nine advantage. They've won six out of the last seven points, really on a roll. Can they keep it up? Lauren just suggesting to Chloe she's broken a string so directed at her a little bit more. It was really interesting when Nathan Robertson came on, he was just sort of saying under the muffle of his mask, he said, use the court more in defence, be a little bit more proactive with your defence. And that's when they're at their very best. And they certainly have been. They've responded well to that advice.
Well, a brilliant point. High level of energy and intensity from both teams. Gallantly contested. So back-to-back -back points then for the Danes. Trying to force their way back into this one. Longest rally of the match, 53 shots. Just a quarter of an hour has unfolded out here. Terrific from Lauren Smith. Again, gives the short flex serve the treatment. And insistent at the net. Lauren Smith take a bow. That was terrific. How decisive she was. Growing in stature every time we see her. Terrific. How's that for proactive? Nathan will be pleased with that one. again outstanding really in your face badminton from the net player really making a presence felt right now is Lauren Smith causing a lot of doubt in the mind of the Danes it's all over that net blanketing it Yeah, it was quite a long way out. So it's over. 12.80. Well, of course, in the women's doubles discipline, it's Japan that really hold all the aces, isn't it? Defending champions. Four very strong pairs. And they really are favorites to win the event, frankly. Good play from the Danes. Combining nicely there. Hesitancy between the Danes there, perhaps the consequence of just, you know, as I say, first match for them. A moment of hesitation and that's it. Found the gap. Did uh, Lauren Smith. Two points away from the opening game now, the English.
Good leave again from Chloe Birch. 20, High up 10 point. 14. And after 20 minutes of action, Birch and Smith have a game point. Six of them. And they only need one. Chloe Birch and Lauren Smith of England. As the seventh seats. Take the opening game then, 21 points to 14. Well, it was that encouraging run of eight, uh, of five consecutive points, wasn't it, from eight, nine down in the opening game for the English that uh, really gave them confidence. Here we are, start of game two. Spilling over the back line, good solid point from the Danes. Both teams rotating nicely around each other with the movement. Just, um, or, or the English just mentioning about the, the Danish coach being very, very loud. start from the Danes here in two, game two rather. Keen look in their eyes, must win game for them of course to stay in the uh, All England Open.
too much from Stephenson. She'll be frustrated with that, having been in the driving seat of the point, right where she wanted the shuttle. Well, hesitancy again. We've seen a few of those now amongst the Danish team. It's all about clear communication, isn't it? Good doubles and high level of intensity. Super point. Four, Buckling three. Stephenson in the end. Did Lauren Smith really proactive, really hunting the shuttle well. Trying to take time and space away from her opponents. Doing a great job here. Keeping the foot to the floor. See how effective she's becoming around the net, just growing in stature. Five, really enjoying herself out here, you can tell. High level of concentration, great defence there from the Danes. Look at this, asking a lot of questions of the English. Well, it is uh, deemed to be a slightly slower haul, so uh, it's all about taking initiative and attacking the net, driving the point along in doubles. intensity of all four of them certainly palpable you can hear it in the footwork around the court can't you lots of tapping going on really admirable they're putting a shift in these four there's no doubting that lights out string on isn't it for chloe yeah Just a slight miscue there, hit it off the uh, top of the string bed, where you've not got that reinforcing string at the very top. But she's back for more, with a fresh weapon in her hand. Terrific point for both teams. Dane's coming through that one. Very nice to see the point from that angle on occasions. Completely changes your perspective on how you view Vapinton, doesn't it? See the slender margins these guys are playing with.
upset in the women's doubles discipline last night. Kitty Hadakun and Prajongjai of Thailand, the fourth seeds, went out to Pearly Town and uh, Tina Muralitharan of Malaysia, 21-17, 23-21, straight game affair. That was on court three. So fourth seeds out. That's at the bottom half of the draw, though. These two teams contesting top half action. He's not shy, is he, the Danish coach, with a big booming voice? Everybody in the arena can hear him when he's really in full throttle. Nice finish. Good steep angle there from Lauren. Got it down nicely. 11 4. They head to the mid game interval in game two. They've got it all under control. Robertson, keep the intensity, keep the discipline. You're going to get your short responses. Just keep working. Just gone. Overcooked it a little too much from Chloe there. She's got a good engine though, Chloe Birch. That singles background. She's got something in her eye right now though. Perhaps a little bit of feather from the shuttle, who knows? She's okay. Can be problematic if you're wearing lenses, of course. Not that she does, I'm not sure. Isabella Nielsen there, just trying to be, uh, give a different look. Nice change up, just uh, finding the tape on the way through though, with the block. return. Lauren Smith all over that net, bringing such variety in attack as well. Hard to know what's coming next. Fifteen six. 
Well, they're looking pretty good right now, aren't they, the English duo? Racing away with this one. So, Zilva, 7.15. Nice, found the gap on the court. Very alert. All the time in the uh, three-week Asian leg for these two have served them well. They played some really tough opponents there and it's kind of raised them up and readied them for this, their home tournament, the one that all the players want to win. Indecision again from the Danes. And there's been too many of them, hasn't there? And uh, suddenly now a 10 point gulf between them both. Lovely change up from Smith. Four points away from the quarterfinals now. sense that Danes have to add to their attacks generally if they're to really climb up the rankings they had a good start but of course the more they play together the better they'll get you'd imagine but they've got to work at some set patterns as well She's been pretty much faultless though today. Just an odd uh, unforced error there from Lauren, but that's all in the name of being really ultra proactive. She's been great around the net, doing her job very, very well. And that says Chloe Birch as well. They've been emphatic. It's been a very disciplined showing from these two. Nine match points to the seven seeds. A nice hug and uh, an easy celebration for a convincing win for Chloe Birch and Lauren Smith. The seven seeds from England sail past the Danes in two straight games, 21-14 and 21-11. They're all smiles and they're through to the quarterfinals where they will take on the winner of Fukushima and Hirota against Boyu and Pulsen. That'll be our fourth match. We can bring you that one. Masks on. Job done. Days are good. Take leave of the court. And uh, just a slurp of squash to stay hydrated. <laughs> Even matching bottles. There we are. She certainly was very effective at the net today, wasn't she, Lauren Smith? And Chloe Birch. And they seem to just complement each other really nicely. That's a good showing from the English. Through to the last eight then, Chloe Birch and Lauren Smith, the seven seeds in the women's doubles discipline. 
safely home. Well, it could be a big opportunity to take on the uh, world number ones should they win at the very top of the draw. Fukushima and Hirota against Boyan and Poulsen will be bringing you in that one in two matches time. Birch and Smith safely through though for the English seven seeds. A good performance all in straight games so far for them. And uh, just down below, Peek and Sinan as well through. So it's a loaded section of the draw, that top quarter. Turning our attention now onto men's doubles. Defending champions and fourth seeds, Hiroki Endo and Yuta Watanabe, featuring on uh, Shokot 1 against the very hand 